Hello again everybody, it's Glenn Dietzel here from AwakenTheAuthorWithin.com and ThePersonYouMustBecome.com and I'm just on my way to a funeral. Actually, I'm down, going down to the funeral home and I'm going to be uh, there this today and then speaking at the funeral tomorrow for one of my best friends. Uh, his, his family, his uh, mother passed away and Mrs. O'Neill was one of my mentors and the principle I want to bring out today is this that and it's a time I've had a time here to self-reflect in the almost two hour trip uh, through Canada you can also get to Windsor Ontario through the US from Sarnia Ontario but I've taken the Canadian route here just a little longer so that I could gather my thoughts as I have to speak tomorrow but a principle I want to bring forth to each of you is this and it has to do with your legacy you know, you can choose to either leave a legacy, which I trust that all of you have made that choice to do, and you can also choose to live your legacy today. And I trust that all of you have ch chosen to do that. I just got off the f with an incredible interview with Reese Haller, a 10-year-old author, the youngest non-fiction published author or fiction published author in the United States uh, at the age of eight. And Reese brought out the whole concept of going for your legacy right now writing that book now because there is never a perfect opportunity and I was really struck with that when I interviewed Reese and was writing down some of my thoughts around interviewing <coughs> interviewing um, speaking at Mrs. O'Neill's funeral um, and it was it, it all stems around the whole idea of leaving a legacy and not just leaving it but living it currently and Mrs. O'Neill Mrs. O, as she was affectionately called by all of us guys, uh, friends of Dave, my friend. And Mrs. O'Neill was somebody that, you know, she lived her journey. And the journey for her was, you know, supporting her kids and today her grandchildren and everything that they're doing. And Mrs. O'Neill did that valiantly. And, and I learned so much from this woman and she never had to say a lot. I just learned a lot from her because of who she was. And I want to stress the importance of, you know, a lot of people want to leave their legacy around what they do. A lot of people want to leave their legacy around what they accumulated in life. But there is nothing more powerful in life than to leave a life around who you were. And that's really centered around our whole legacy series. And it's centered around the person that you must become. Because in order to have what you want to have and do what you want to do, you've got to become the person that you must become. And you've got to leave your legacy. You've got to, in order to leave that legacy properly, you need to live that legacy. And I want to share with you, each of you right now that you model, you model incredible, uh, you have an opportunity to model for so many different people that you don't even realize but model that behavior model the attitudes the success attitudes of legacy building principles that you've achieved that you've um, that you've acquired especially through our legacy statements um, the audio components and the video components you have the opportunity today to be able to live those out in your own life and you never know who you're going to influence in life. You never know the people who are watching you, who you are a role model. And I want to share with you that, that you need to be consistent in life. No matter who you are and where you are in life, be consistent. Because one a key principle around building your legacy is that you are the same person no matter you know who is attending in your presence at the moment. Don't be caught up in becoming one person in, in a certain group and another person in another group. Be confident in who you are. Step up to the plate and be the same person that you are in private as you are in public no matter the type of person or who is in your presence because you never know the opportunities that are going to present themselves because of your consistent behavior, because of the consistent attitudes. And, you know, Mrs. O'Neill, she acted consistently, and I saw that no matter who was in her presence, she was the same person. 
she modeled to me so many important attitudes and some of those attitudes that I've shared with you are attitudes that have come from Mrs. O'Neill. For the entire Awaken team, this is Glenn Dietzel speaking, and I salute you to your legacy. I also salute you to contacting our office as soon as possible and finding out how we can be of assistance to you. Call us at 519-542-3043. Remember, you've got to go for your legacy now. There is never an optimum time. People are watching you. You never know the kind of influence that you're going to have on another person's life. So begin now.